We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Try and Burner asks, uh, what do you guys use for scouting? So you guys kind of talked about, you know, what you do for scouting, but you guys have, a, is it all paper scouting? Do you guys have an app or, you yeah. know? So guys... we have paper scouting, like Parker mentioned earlier, we have like enough students to where we can have like two students per robot. And so usually, like, like I mentioned earlier with cycle times, one person has a stopwatch. Other than that, it's all manual entry. And then until then, uh, our scouting captains collect those sheets and enter them into our scouting database. But other than that, that's pretty much. And the much scouting easier. database is just Excel. Yeah. It's, 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 there's it's no Excel. fancy fanciness to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we found it really a lot better to use paper scouting rather than like maybe a Google Drive or something. It just ensures that we have that data like a hundred percent. And if a phone dies, then we don't lose it. You know. Sure. And then do you guys, so then how do you guys get the data like from your master like spreadsheet or whatever to the drive team like you guys said before every match? Are you we guys copying runners. that down? or? Yeah. Okay. So we have runners that uh, after the data is compiled, they literally run to the pits wherever the drive team is and feed that information to yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, they're taking the paper sheets. Yeah, I mean, they're, yeah, they're, okay. they're, they're taking the paper sheets yeah. to, the, to the drive team. Cool, cool. All right. All right. Um, next question comes from Arrowhead Blah, and they ask, uh, how do you manage a team as large as 60 people? So maybe this is uh, Parker, maybe you can ask. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we covered a lot of it. You know, we we consensus build. We, uh, I guess, uh, in terms of managing 60 pairs of hands, um, that can get tricky sometimes. Yeah. But, um, you know, we we split up into different subsystems. Um, we try to, you know, each, each subsystem has a mentor. They try to organize things for the evening um, and make sure there's a clear path. Um, you know, with, with the veterans teaching the rookies, usually there's a couple pairs of hands, uh, doing each task. So even though you only need to go to the drill press to drill one hole, there's probably two students walking over there together to, to talk through that process. Yeah. Um, we do usually hit a lull, uh, kind of during the manufacturing time frame. you know, people over at the water knife, cutting the sheet metal out, um, mentors around the big lathes, cutting axles out. Um, and so we, we try to take that time to, you know, start focusing on the scouting sheets, um, you know, getting things ready in the, in the pit, organized for competition, um, working a lot on chairmans and Woody Flowers, things like that. So um, it can be tricky sometimes, you know, I'm not going to say that there aren't nights where people are just kind of mm -hmm. wondering, you know, huh, what, what can I do? <laughs> yeah. Um, but but to, it, yeah, to know. a certain extent, like students can participate, like especially with Parker said with manufacturing. Like the fact that we have like NASA technology, like students aren't allowed to use machinery that could probably kill you. Just some logic there. But also I do find that like having like so many students opens up for a lot of student leadership to happen. Like he mentioned the subsystems, you really get to see like veteran students taking ownership of responsibilities and becoming better leaders. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, um, I think it makes a lot of sense that like once you have more students, the older students can then teach the younger students and then there's more uh, education to happen there. So that's that's really good. Um, awesome. Next question we can do is uh, how do you, uh, this comes from Paul's underscore game. They asked, how do you guys train your drivers and how much practice do you guys get? And is there anything kind of unique you guys do for that? Yeah, you want to um, talk the fall? Yeah, with your so and we actually have, so our 2017 drivers, uh, they, as part of their, their ISM, their independent study mentorship that they did during the school, they created um, these driver training robots, and they actually have them uploaded on their YouTube channel. If you look up like Ethan Reed 118, he, I believe he has videos of that. So that's a unique thing that we do. It's like a certain game that we do. You have to pick up gears and place them on this like custom built scoring place. I don't know if it's back there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's, it's off way. camera, yeah. but it's there. So, and that's something that we do in the off season before like we start competing just to like give like a lot of people like time on the sticks. That's how we go about that. Yeah. And then for practice, as soon as the robot, as soon as we get our silver robot done. So we have, we have two robots, right? We have a gold robot and we have our, our silver practice robot. And as soon as we get um, that silver practice robot done and wired up that that's um, automatic. Like the drivers are practicing driver time for sure. Cool. And then I think the last question we're going to have time for tonight 
uh, comes from... Uh, oh, I just lost my place. Sorry. Uh, from Quantum Cyclone. They asked, uh, do you guys accept every person that wants to join the team for, for students from... Because I know you guys mentioned you kind of have six high schools feeding in. Or do you guys kind of have like an application process? And how do you, how do you go about that? So, unfortunately, because we do have limited space, we can't accept everyone. There is an application process. People always are like, do you have to, like, write crazy long essays? No, it's just something about, like, you write a little, like, passage about, like, why you want to join, what you expect to take away. We do have tryout sessions, and they involve engineering challenges. But it's not about, like, how good you are at the challenges. What we look out for is how you communicate with others. And really, it's just based on the merit of, like, how much, how passionate you are and how willing you are to work with others. Uh, this year, especially, we started, um, our district started our sister team, Team 30, 324 Chips, housed at one of our high schools. So that's definitely a um, way to give a lot more people access to being a robotics. Awesome. Yeah. So with that said, I think we're going to draw for the winner of our second prize tonight, the uh, 118 shirt and hat. So get your last entries in, zip ties in the chat if you'd like to win, and make sure you are a follower. Click that green <coughs> follow button at the top, and uh, it looks Tyler will be ready to roll for that. Good news, so everyone. Tyler. The first person who won apparently is a 118 mentor, so we're going to oh. uh, draw twice. So the first one will be for just a who? T-shirt. Who? who? Uh, Echo 9V, <laughs> apparently. So uh, so, uh, <laughs> so we're going to draw twice. First one will be for the uh, just T-shirt, and the second one will be for the uh, – Hat and T-shirt. So, oh, <laughs> all right. All right. Well, Exalted, Exalted one is taking the first one. Congratulations. Excuse me. And the uh, second one, uh, Poofy Jacket two fifty four. <laughs> Lots of redeemos, please. Uh, for this. Rigged. Totally, rigged. totally, totally rigged. <laughs> Subscribers, well, we totally rigged it for these guys. So, lots of redeemos in chat. <laughs> All righty, so those are our giveaways for tonight. Uh, before we finish up on the show tonight, uh, 118, do you guys have anything coming up that you'd like to promote or, or maybe what you're looking forward to for the season now that we're right at the end of – it's actually bag day tonight. So, uh, you know, happy no bag day tonight. We are able to have a <laughs> Otherwise, I know uh, you guys and I would both not be here if the bag was happening tonight. So thank God there's no bag. But are you guys any excited for anything this season? Do you guys have anything coming up maybe you guys want to talk about real quick? For sure, a reveal video that'll be coming up soon, so watch out for that. Mm -hmm. But, um, compete um, week two, yeah, so we compete week two, and like you mentioned, like with no bag day, like we're really excited to see like the level of competition that these robots are going to bring without that limit. Did it? Yeah. I guess we didn't, we didn't talk about that earlier. Did, did you has anything really changed for you guys this year with not having the bag? We, so, yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. We, we stick it to the process, we have our deadlines that we try to meet. And that's always a motivator for us. So if we let bag day change something, then we're doing something wrong. Fair enough. And uh, maybe last question before we head out for the night. Uh, what team would each of you guys like to see on the next episode of Deep Dive? Um, I mentioned 3310 earlier. I didn't want that to sound a little bit underhanded, <laughs> but that was just a comment for like how much respect we have for them. Uh, they're part of like that this really cool um, Team Texas environment and in 2018 they were our partners at newton and just like some of the students there are really smart really great friends of ours so i think 3310 I, agree. I would like to see how they work i'm gonna i'm gonna uh pull spectrum back in here i'd love to see uh team spectrum sure. yeah. uh mm -hmm. come on deep dive um you know what alan's done with that program is fantastic they've got an awesome build blog um tons of outreach um they're very open and um they build really, really cool robots. So I think yeah. that they'd, they'd be really, really great to bring yeah. on. Yeah, in terms of teams that we like strive to be similar to, I'd say like Spectrum is oh, definitely sure. up there. So much respect yeah. for them. The caliber of their team and their students is just really impressive. Awesome. Definitely been the best Chief Delphi threat of the season. So, uh, yeah. All right. Well, that is going to do it for tonight's show. We hope everyone out there enjoyed uh, the show and that everyone learned a lot from it. I know I certainly did. Uh, I want to give a massive thank you to our awesome guest from 118 tonight for volunteering to come on the show and giving us all so much information about what makes their team so amazing. So I hope you guys had some fun being on the show. And we had a blast. Thank appreciate you. It. Thanks thank for you having so us. Much. All right. And uh, thanks to our editor-in-chief, Tyler, for uh, producing tonight's show. I know Tyler's been a little under the weather, so thanks for being a trooper, Tyler, and being here tonight. Uh, if you guys liked the show or uh, all the other content that Fun uh, produces, be sure to click that green follow button at the top. It'll keep you up to date with all the shows and videos that we post on Twitch. And if you'd like to help support us, then you can click that purple subscribe box at the top. 
Uh, you might have a free Twitch Prime sub available if you have your Amazon Prime account link. So uh, that's free, and you can uh, use it on us if you so choose. And you can always check out our YouTube page as well for uh, videos of all the different shows that we have on for first updates now. So uh, with that said, thanks a lot for watching the show tonight. If you have any suggestions on what team you would like to see next on the show, uh, shoot us a message on uh, our Discord server, and uh, we'll keep it in mind. With that, thanks to all the mods in the chat tonight, and uh, everybody have a great night, and we'll see you next time on FRC. Good luck this season, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.